Page 29, Pedal Your Own Canoe. Now we are getting into the damper pedal. They talk about it on page 28. There's a lot of different pedaling techniques. You can have fun going through those drills on page 28 on your own. You don't need my help for that. They're basically telling you when to push it down or lift it up. On page 29, they give you a pedal indication at the bottom. Those lines at the bottom are pedal indications. It starts with a line down and then it goes across. When it's down, that means push the pedal down. When you get that little point arrow up there, it means you lift it up and push it right back down. Now I'm going to show you and explain what's called overlapping pedal and that means an overlapping or a legato pedal or a connect to smooth pedaling or it, it simply ensures there's no break in the sound. It, you, you always got sound, okay? And what it is, it's a little weird at first, but if you work on it, it's, you'll get it and it, it is used a lot. So do yourself a favor and just get good at this, okay? There's other kinds of pedaling, but right now we're going to use overlapping. And that means that f when you push the note down first, and right after you push the note down, you push the pedal down. You don't push them down at the same time. That's a different kind of pedaling. This is overlapping. So first the note, then the pedal. Now if you look at the third measure where it's got that little arrow pointing up, uh, that little thing in the, the pedaling has that whoop, whoop. It's like a pulse of whoop, whoop, whoop heart monitor, whatever it is, I don't know. Well, the pedal is down, and then when you get there, see, if I play the note right before, that's G in the right hand, then I play the third measure, I'm going to play the notes first, then I'm going to lift the pedal up and put it right back down. Right down. It overlaps. The sound overlaps, but it overlaps just a fraction of a second and the ears don't mind it but it ensures you have sound if I try and do it at the same time and I'm a little off there could be I could miss and it could so just it's done overlapping so I'm going to use overlapping and you can study it push the note down first and then you lift the pedal up and drop it you lift the pedal up and push it down wherever you want at the end of the piece, not just this piece, but any piece, pretty much, unless the music tells you otherwise, the pedal and the hands all come up at the same time. So even though the last measure I could, I could, I could push, I could play it with the pedal, I could lift the fingers up and the pedal would help the sound go, that's considered a bad habit, as poor technique. So leave the hands, the fingers down, and the pedal down, and then when it's time, when those three beats are up, lift up fingers and the pedal at the same time. It's just good technique. It's a good habit, so do that. Do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. Pedal your own canoe. It's three, four time. It's in C major, no sharps or flats. And we are not in middle C position. For the first time in the book, we have moved. Now we are in C position which means the right hand stays where it is, C. The bottom note for the right hand is still a C. But now the right, the left hand, the bottom note for the right, the, the bottom note for the left hand is now a C. So instead of up here, it's gonna be the C. That's called C position. Now I, do, I will warn you, your hands or fingers might move around a little bit, so this is just a general guide of where you're starting. Take a look at the next to the last measure at the bottom of the page. The right hand has to play a B. That's not in C position. In a way it is, because you don't move the hand, you're just moving the thumb down one to get the B. And then you can play the B with the thumb again, I don't recommend it. I recommend you play the last note in the right hand with your second finger because you want to connect them. Even though they're pedaled and the pedal will connect them, it's still a good idea to get the fingers to do the work. Don't let the pedal do the work for you. So I would recommend you play the last note in the right hand with your second finger. So they're connected even though you're not in C position. That's not important. 
The positions is just a guide to help you on sort of where to start. It's not locked in. You don't have to stay there. That's what I'm saying. Now the left hand's going to move around a little bit here. Take a look at the second line. In the first measure, you're here. But then, in the next to the last measure, you've moved back up to where you would have been in middle C position. So the second finger can play the, the B and the C. So you got to move around a little bit. But that's fine because you've got a whole measure rest to do it in. So you're going to do it during the rest. Make sure you get it up there before you need to play the note. Always, if you can, move your hand before you need to play the note so it's there ready to go. That You can't always. Sometimes you got to move and play immediately. Now, the last measure of that second line, you're playing the middle C with the left hand. Well, in the next measure, which is the first measure of the third line, you got to go back down to a little C. I recommend you stick your hand out to an octave and play it that way and then you can clap your hand after you do that. So we play the first C is here, the middle C, and then we go to the next measure and do the next C. Now you can, if you want, you can move the hand. But I don't recommend it. If your hand's big enough, do it that way. As the music gets more complicated, that particular move, you're going to do a lot. So just as well get used to it. The right hand is in this position. No, that's left hand. Right, left, yeah, don't confuse. The left hand is going to be here. Right hand is going to be here. And the foot's on the pedal. So let's try this out. I'll give you three counts because it's in three, four time. One, ready, go.